Hello everybody, today we have a 6S um, that's dead, um, it just died and if we inspect the phone it's bent now this is, if you plug it into the power supply and you turn on the uh, phone, which we'll do now I'll tell you the current draw we get so let's just plug it in Okay, so now what we're going to do let's see what's going on. Okay, so we're booting it and we're getting 0 0.81 current draw now. I don't know if the board is slightly bent, but I wanted to film this video just to show you guys. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to freeze the main area and what you'll see is the heat it starts melting around here let's just see I don't want to confuse this with a PMIC okay so let's go again as you can see it starts melting right there as always, okay. So, um, no. Let's just disconnect the power supply. It starts melting around here on the CPU. Um, I did a massive inspection and I happened to find, I'll show you, we have a short here. Let's see. So I found a short on PP1VA. Complete dead short. So we're getting zero and zero. It's completely a dead short. Right, so let's just switch over to my PDF. Now if we want to find this path, which is here, let's see what line this is on. Now, it's a PP1 V8 line, and it's obviously next to the NAND. So we've got all these caps to check. So it's quite a lot of caps that lead right to that. So, I did my, uh, let's just see if I can smack that back, I did my investigation and look what I found. Can you see that? Let's just brighten this up a little bit. Look at that tiny little problem. This, I was honestly thinking, I was like, oh, 1VH shorts are really difficult to find. I hate the 1VH short. Um, usually it leads into something really complicated, but I have found this little crazy capacitor. So, uh, we're going to check, make sure that that's the problem. Yep, we have a dead short on it. So let's double check that that is the cap that's on the line. So we've got one, two, three, and then we've got that glass component over there. Let's head over to our PDF. And let's check if that's on the same line. How about that? Okay, so let's paste it in there. And what line is this on? It's on the PP1V8 line. Okay, so it's one of these caps. Now, if one of these are bad, it's going to just bring the whole line down with it. So, let's go ahead and knock it off and see if that does anything. <laughs> right. As simple as that. <laughs> right. Let's go back to this first cap that we found the 1VH short on. And we now get a good diode reading. So let's see if you can see this. I'm recording, please. Never ending problem. Let's see if I can put this here. For yes. Can I? The light 
uh, that is excellent. Okay. So, as you can see, we come in here, ground on one side, and we now have 260 in diameter. This means that it is not short to ground in it. So, let's see if this one can boot now. Obviously, let's just test it before we put back the component. That's where shorts are getting harder to find, especially in the newer phones. They are getting a lot harder to find. Okay. Let's just plug in display and let's put in the battery here and stick it on charge. Let's see if it boots. And let's plug it in. What do we get? 0 0.6, 0 0.11, and we have a battery symbol with an Apple logo. So <laughs> this phone was completely dead. I believe that from the bend in the phone, it's literally bent exactly where the hard drive is, where the NAND is. Uh, it could have caused this issue. Now let's just see if we get a full boot. And then we'll go ahead and replace that component. But this was another complicated find. I thought I should film a video for you guys. Usually with 1v8 shorts, it's really, really hidden somewhere. But it's somewhere, there we go. So we have, and we have touch as well. So the data is fully recovered. And yeah, 1v8 short found and relieved. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to do my best to share also the schematics and understanding of things. Thanks for watching.